This is a series on providing tactically graphic rich environments for preschool and elementary students. This second section is on early elementary tactile pictures and drawing and engaging the student in literacy activities. This is a picture of some of the decodable Bob books that were used in Logan's kindergarten and first grade classroom. There's been tactile pictures added to them. This is the cover of one of those books. There's a man with a big hat, a cat with pointy ears and whiskers, and a dog with floppy ears. When looking at these pictures with a student, there's a lot of discussion about concepts and, and what is being felt and how that identifies the picture. So the pointy ears of the cat are easy to tell and the whiskers, and then comparing that to the floppy ears of the dog. Having books with these tactile images is really beneficial to helping the student be included in the literacy instruction that's happening in the classroom. Pictures also provide such a rich experience and interest and excitement about reading that providing that for our students is important also. When I would give a new book to Logan, he would often ask, are there pictures? And if I said no, he would sigh heavily and slump. These last few pictures have been from a book about Ben Bug, and it does take a lot of preview to look at these and identify what's going on. But the salient features and connecting that to the page with the text is all very supportive of the literacy instruction that's happening in the classroom, which is a rich social learning environment. This is a picture of Logan in first grade at the small group reading table with the classroom teacher. The teacher does a picture walk with all the students to build background knowledge. Here, Logan has a tactile picture, so he's able to participate and adds that the bug is inside. Picture walking, picture walk. <gasps> oh my gosh, what do you see? What do you feel? You what do you know? He wants to make a hole, doesn't he? Did he He's inside. He's inside. That's right. Logan. He looks so cute. Okay. Here in the guided reading group, Logan is being asked to read. The student in the foreground is using their reader finger following along with the print. Cat. Oh, that was beautiful. Could you do that again and a little bit louder? Cat is a mad cat. Yay. Great job. Great job. During literacy writing activities, students in younger grades are often drawing and writing about their pictures. Logan wrote about fishing with his dad. We made tactile picture of a fish on a line and a boy and a dad and pictures of the boat and added those to his book. Of course, we needed to sit down and look at those pictures and identify the details. And after he was familiar with that, then he could describe that to other people. Here's him reading a line from one of his pages. We went fishing right? with Dad D. In kindergarten and first grade, Logan's aide and I helped Logan draw pictures. He could watch what we were drawing as he described it, looking with his fingers, and we could talk about our process, such as saying, I'm drawing two circles for two wheels. Or he could draw part of the picture with us helping out with some, or he could copy from something we drew. Here's some writing he did in kindergarten. There's a picture of a recycling truck and a lizard on tactile drawing film that was drawn with an ink pen. Logan's Braille was done on a smart brailler that allows him to get auditory feedback and correct some of his mistakes. The smart brailler also allowed him to hear the words so he could work on getting the phonetic spelling he was looking for. His writing, spelling-wise, looks like other kindergartners. On this page, he says he wants to give Taylor Swift a lizard. He also wants a recycling truck. In this frog story he wrote, we probably helped him with the picture on the cover. Then on the inside, he drew a little frog, which was a small circle with four legs sticking out. There's a few dots outside of the frog as Logan was trying to get the eyes right. I have videos of Logan, now in fifth grade, looking at the books he had in kindergarten and first grade that he hasn't seen since then. I feel like his reaction tells the story 
of why the pictures mattered to him. Do you remember these little books? Ooh. I need to read these. Give me one of them. <laughs> what do you remember the pictures the on there? Big hat. Yeah, it was it's this like this is the big hat which the weird face. This is the cat and this is the dog. Here I hand him cat and rat and the big fish. What is that? Do you see I'm like give that. Cat and rat. Get out of here. What? Get out of here. Do you remember here. this? I have to read this. Boy. Oh, Jesus. Do you remember that? Was that like one of the first fish pictures you ever had? Yes. I loved it. What did you... What, cat, tell me, okay. cat and rat and the big fish. Okay. No, what, it's fine. What's happening there? Okay, so this is a... Oh, yeah, the fishing pole and the fish is on it. And... The rat is reeling it in. <laughs> like, oh, I'm just going to take care of all of it. This book is all the cats and all the rats. Cat said, it's my birthday. Oh, God, there's so many cats and so many rats. Oh, no. Oh, there's the cake. All the cats and all the rats. The next clip is actually going back to Logan in kindergarten. He has practiced reading Worm and Bug, and now we're making a recording of it. He's super excited. This is just him reading two pages. Logan reading a story. Here he's looking at the bug in the rug picture. Bug likes, likes to hide in the rug. Here he's feeling the bug on the rat. Bug is on top, is on, is on, on the, the rat. In this clip of fifth grade, Logan, I hand him the worm and the bug book. No, oh, here's wait, another wait, memory, wait, wait, wait. memory, Space. memory, memory. Space. This one was, was pretty cute. Worm and bug. Do you remember it? Can I please read it? Please, <laughs> please. Yes, go for it. Yes. Okay, then we have to walk. Worm and bug. The bug is the cutest thing. I'm the bug, you're the worm. I'm the bug, you're the worm. Okay, what's going on there? Oh, the worm. Do you remember that? Worm likes to hide in in the jug. <laughs> Why is worm in the jug? That's okay, what's that? Do you remember that picture? Bug. Oh, bugs in the rug. <laughs> the little eyes. That's so freaking cute. What's that going like on? Like little stars. Yeah. No, the, fire. Fire? Yeah. yeah. No, these are. Oh, the, yeah, the stars and the moon. Oh, God. Oh, God. Worm and bug go to sleep. <laughs> Wait, what are these above them? Oh, z z z z z z z z Yeah. Okay, awesome. Wait, you're doing what? Hugging this book to my chest. Okay. <laughs>